what's been a key is just an inner confidence. Kid is a winner, flat out. When I step on the golf course, it's not like a cockiness in myself. It's more just very confident in my preparation and getting the job done. Every week, Jordan Spieth is there. I've played a lot of difficult golf courses growing up, and you just got to shoot under par, and all of a sudden you're competing with these guys. I don't think any moment is too big for this guy. He's going to be fun to watch over the coming years. With 14 top 10 finishes and 36 professional starts, Jordan Spieth is already leaving an impressive imprint on the game of golf. Last month's stellar showing in Augusta is the latest example of Spieth's game that transcends his age. Which golf fans first witnessed at the 2010 HP Byron Nelson Championship. How about Mr. Jordan Spieth? A lot of tour events are giving younger players an opportunity to, to get a start as an amateur. And I think that's what the key to success is, is being able to test the waters before you're actually doing it as your career. Get in there, there we go, take him with you, kid, all the way to the house. The then 16-year-old fired three rounds in the 60s to finish tied for 16th, becoming just the sixth youngest player in PGA Tour history to make a cut. It was awesome. Starting the week, I would have definitely taken the top 20. Obviously now, being a competitor, I look back at you know, the mistakes I made today um, that, that didn't give me the opportunity to win, but you can't win every time. It's just adjusting to the stage and the hype all around a PGA Tour event. And if you can get out there and compete, you realize that it's not that much different. Buoyed by his PGA Tour showing, the Dallas native enrolled at the University of Texas, where as a freshman, he led the Longhorns to the national championship. Jordan celebrated by turning pro at 19, beginning his 2013 PGA Tour season with no official status. When the year started, I just wanted to have a place to play. A high goal for me was to earn my PGA Tour card for next season. And then as the year progressed, that became a reality. Can you imagine doing this on the PGA Tour at that age? Jordan had immediate success, posting five top tens before heading to the John Deere Classic, an event he had played in as an amateur in 2012. This time, he entered the 72nd hole in contention, needing a birdie to force a three-man playoff. Wow! Goodness gracious. Jordan Spate, wow. I kind of blacked out for a minute. I've seen the coverage of my face once it went in, and it's just, it gives me chills still to think about how big that shot was for me. I'd played good golf, but never quite good enough to get in the winner's circle. I learned a lot throughout the season from having close calls, and when it finally worked out my way, it felt great. Jordan Spieth. First teenage winner in a PGA Tour event since Ralph Goodall in 1931. His first PGA Tour victory, and I believe the first of many. After the John Deere, a lot of opportunities opened up, and you know dreams came true, and I was able to play in major championships, and eventually the playoffs, and make it East Lake. He became just the sixth rookie of the FedEx Cup era to make it to the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola and ended the playoff run by posting four top 20s, including a runner-up finish in Atlanta. What a performance by Jordan Spieth. Youngest competitor ever in the Tour Championship, and this guy is your Rookie of the Year in 2013. When I was 20 years old, I was a long way away from being a professional golfer, I can tell you that, and uh, it's great to see how well he's played. He's an unbelievable player. He's got pretty much every aspect of the game covered, super solid, but how he acts, whether things are going good or bad, is super impressive. Jordan's solid 2013 season earned him PGA Tour Rookie of the Year, and he became the first rookie to make the U.S. President's Cup team. It's just surreal to be considered one of the 12 best Americans in the country. He's just a terrific player and a great guy. It was a pleasure having him on the President's Cup team and getting to spend some time with him. He's a very rare talent. Over the last 16 months, he's gone from no status to rising PGA Tour superstar. At seventh in the FedEx Cup point standings, the 20-year-old is building off last year, showing that the future of golf is indeed in good hands. This year, I feel more confident than I ever have. I am knocking on the door. 
I kind of let my preparation take care of things and remain neutral mentally, then ultimately he put myself in these positions. One of these days, it'll, it'll fall my way. For a 20-year-old, it, it really is amazing the maturity he has. Jordan seems to roll with things very well. It's one of those traits that you really need to have as a golfer. To not beat yourself up is, a, uh, is, is an advantage and something to help you have that long career. You obviously have to play very consistent golf week in and week out. You can make an impact in the biggest events against the best fields. It was just such an amazing feeling. I'm still trying to let it all sink in from there until now because it is really kind of a blur.